This GMC Sierra 84X might just be the perfect half-ton blend of a rugged, capable exterior and a luxurious interior. This 84X is the top of the line for the Sierra with off-road capability. Just like the Denali is the luxury one, this one still offers luxury and off-road capability. And today we're going to take a full detailed look at the exterior, the interior, and get it out on the road for a test drive. Let's get started. All right, welcome everyone. Let's take a look at this 2023 Sierra 84X. So the 84X is the most upgraded off-road variant of the Sierra, just on top of the AT4. So right up front, you're gonna get AT4X badging, this special grille. You've got the same kind of big upright front end you're gonna get from the Sierras. You've got these red vertical recovery hooks down there. We're gonna get LED fog lights, LED headlights, and this signature C-shape LED daytime running light. So one thing you'll notice when you see other AT4s and AT4Xs is the AT4X can get a more upgraded bumper with a winch. This one is not though. It looks just like the regular AT4. And I kind of wish we had the one with the, you know, the steel bumper, but we definitely still get some plastic down there. This Sierra is dressed in the cayenne red tint coat. It looks very nice. It's a nice looking paint, especially with the black accents here, like the rocker guards. You've got the black wheels. These are actually gloss black wheels. Probably not ideal for off-roading, but they look nice nonetheless. And you've got these massive, 33 inch Wrangler mud terrain tires. Those things are pretty big. So this Sierra is gonna give you an electronic front and rear locker. You get both lockers on this AT4X, a Multimatic DSSV spool valve dampers. A two inch lift is standard to give you over 11 inches of ground clearance as well. Now in the back, you're gonna get LED taillights as well. The same signature C-shape, the Multi-Pro tailgate, which I'll talk about in a little bit, the bumper step got your receiver here plus we have a dual outlet exhaust but you can't really see it it's kind of protected behind that bumper there and of course there's a full-size spare tire now one bummer is that this sierra at4x only comes in one configuration it's a crew cab short box which is probably how most of you would buy it anyways a couple cool things about this so it's a power electronic tailgate you can lower it down with the key fob just like that and we have the multi-pro tailgate so there's so much that we can do with this before i jump into that there's this bumper step that they've had for a while and this up here you can grab the bed cap and get in pretty easily so you can you've got two buttons here there's no handle i wish we still had a handle but this is all electronic you can push this lower this down have a workstation you can lift this up and have this be like an extender for the cargo area you can even lower them both down at the same time push the bottom then the top and then it's easier to get into the bed of the truck so you've got less distance that you have to overcome you can also lower this thing down in this position and have a step there plus there's a handle that pops up so you can have step handle easy to get in there's even a kicker audio system right here built into this tailgate or if you fold this up you can have this up and still have this be a good cargo extender okay so taking a look at this bed you obviously can get the spray and bed liner here which we have you've got the at4x branding pretty much all over we're gonna have led box lighting in the bed here got three different tie downs right there that's fantastic you've got three tie downs in every corner i love the versatility of all these tie downs 120 volt plug right there too so pretty standard but it is a nice bed overall and it's pretty wide and deep and one thing you might not know is that you know if you lower both of the top half and the whole tailgate down and you have a hitch in place it is going to crash into that to prevent that you can hold this top button down as long as you have the key fob with you and you'll see the tail lights flash. That means that this is now deactivated. So you don't have to worry about the top half crashing down. If you wanna deactivate it, you just hold the button down again until the tail lights flash. Now climbing inside, you're gonna get some luxury style seats here. First of all, you've got leather seats. You've got the AT4X badging. The only thing I wish we had was that this headrest could move forward and backwards like Fords, but still goes up and down, obviously. You've got this nice stitching on here, just the nice overall look of the seats. They're not as plush as some, but they're still comfortable enough. And all the adjustments you could ever want. So you've got your typical height, tilt, adjustment, recline, four-way lumbar support, even bolster adjustment. And let me show you what that little guy's for. 
Before I do that, we've got two position memory settings right here, which gives us an entry exit system so the seat and steering wheel can automatically move because this steering wheel is power tilt and telescoping. Now, if I hit that little button, check it out. We've got different massages that you can do on here. So that is awesome. You now have a massaging seat in here in this AT4X. Plus these seats will be heated and ventilated. It can automatically come on too. You can heat just your back or you can heat your back and your bottom. And the steering wheel is also heated too. And like I said, they're not the most plush seats compared to some other vehicles. Like I think Ram and Ford's seats and even Nissan's and Toyota seats honestly seem a little more plush and comfortable than these, but they're still good enough. Climbing into the back seat, you actually get some nice materials on this door, whether you want that or not. I told you it's pretty luxurious in here. Good storage down there. You even get a grab handle for your back seat passengers. And I love that GMC gives us this back in the seat storage. This is a nice little cubby to put random things if you need to, and it's totally concealed and out of the way. The other thing is the storage. So you can lift the seat up here. You've got this fixed storage area underneath of the seat and then the rest of the floor is still fairly flat now, obviously all these full-size trucks nowadays have tons of leg room i'm five foot nine that's where i sit so i'm not very tall but i still got a ton of leg room here and we've got heated seats in this at4x your outboard seats are going to be heated with three tier two usb ports little air conditioning vents and as always the cup holders right behind the center console if you've got a tall crew working with you, you've got a ton of headroom up here with this giant cutout. And this center area folds down, so you've got this folding armrest, it's soft, and some cup holders here too. And the nice thing is you can have this seat up if you want to have some storage and still have room for some people to sit. Now climbing inside of this Sierra, if you have not seen this since the refresh, you're going to love the way that this thing is function-wise and material-wise compared to the pre-refresh model. So First of all, over on the door, real quick, you've got soft material up here to rest your arm. This really cool, nice textured area, big soft armrest, a good grab handle, and then you've still got some space for a couple bottle holders and storage down there. Now keep in mind, this does have the upgraded Bose audio, but let me tell you about that later. If you carry big mugs with you like that, something like that still fits in there too. So over here, you've got your light controls, your parking brake, four wheel drive controls. And I love that we have an auto for our four wheel drive. This is fantastic. So you can keep it in auto if you're in some off and on slippery situations where you don't wanna to have to switch back and forth. It'll stay in two and then when it needs to, it will go to four, which works great. Got your trailering button right here and our drive motor, our terrain modes. So you've just got basic off-road or terrain, which is like your off-road cruise control. So it's basically like one pedal driving and you can just worry about the steering. All of our light controls right here, mirror lights, back lights, bed lights, interior lighting, all straightforward and easy to use and reach. Plus your head up display controls are right there. Now a quick complaint, this steering wheel, you know, this is just like what they've had for a while. I like the four spoke design, but I wish we had a bigger steering wheel. I mean, I like a bigger bulkier steering wheel, something to grab onto, something with a little grip up here maybe, but you know, small complaint. It is leather and it is still very soft. Typical steering wheel layout though, you've got kind of a rubber material here and on that scrolling wheel over there. So you've got radar cruise control controls here. You've got some seeking and volume controls on the back of the steering wheel, just like you used to. Now this display is standard on here. This is over 12 inches of display. So a lot of people complained about the display before. You can keep it like this where it shows you know, the gauges in digital format and then all this digital information in the middle. You've got a bunch of different things you can scroll through your map. You can see uh, different settings that you can customize. So let me change the layout. We're in classic right now. You can have progressive, which will look like that. It kind of shrinks things on the side a little bit. Fully digital right here. It still has all the same information, but it's just a little different layout. And then the clean pretty much erases everything except right in the middle. I've honestly liked to keep it in classic. I don't care if I have a huge digital display or not, but you can change what information is on the left side or the right side, but you're limited to only a few different things. Same with your lower gauges. And let me quickly scroll through this. There's a ton of things that you can see on here. I love this. Having the ability to see your tire pressure, your oil life, even brake pad and air filter, your trailering stuff off road. So you can see like your pitch and angle things, transmission fluid temp. It's all good information to see, especially if you're towing and working. 
Now overhead, we get a 15 inch head up display. There's a lot of stuff that you can have on here using those buttons. So you can have your driver assist features, compass, off road status on there too. Pretty more basic like that. It's pretty awesome. Now one thing, unlike other full size trucks, they typically will have a storage slot up here. This one does not have it but you've got this massive screen, over 13 inches of screen takes up this whole thing. This center console is completely revamped compared to what it used to be. And this now has Google Assistant, so you can use it to change temperature. You can use it to use Google Maps and look up where to go. Different voice commands and things that you can do on here. Otherwise, you have other settings you can customize. You have Wi-Fi built in. It's not quite as customizable as some things once you get into vehicle or has some vehicles, but it still works pretty well. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless. You do not have to be plugged in. However, Apple CarPlay only takes up a small part of the screen. Android Auto can take up the whole screen, but this is how it goes. And we have wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and we have a spot to put your phone, but it's not a wireless charging. Now real quick, let me show you shift into reverse our 360 camera so you've got several different things you can do so you can see in the back in the front you can see top down you can see the wheels both front or back you can have your hitch camera that's fantastic it's really nice what you can have on here a bed camera too so you shouldn't have any troubles at all you can change whether you have a dynamic line like that or move to the trailer and then you have like a hitch line. Now, quick complaint, we have the Bose audio system and I've been very disappointed with it. I have messed around with it a lot, changed the equalizer a whole bunch, changed the drive or changed the, the sound mode to all these different things and it still sounds like we are underwater. I just don't care for it at all. I've heard other Bose systems that sound pretty good but for some reason this one is just subpar. Coming down, we've got dual zone climate control right there. Everything's nicely laid out. It's all piano black, but I think it's just, you know, enough to where it doesn't bother me so much. You've got your start stop button, a big button right there. And then down here, you can turn off your parking sensors, your lane keeping system, auto stop start. You can lower your tailgate, traction control, downhill assist, and then you got your rear or your front and rear locker right there. Fantastic to have both of those. And you've got a big storage slot right there big old area a couple usb ports our shifter is right here you might have seen a uh, more push button shifter versions before a trailer brake controller is front and center so if you do a lot of trailering this is the truck for you because you've got this trailer brake controller just right here easy to get to but also check this out you've got an entire menu on your display geared for trailering so you can set this up you can hook up cameras you can have a checklist you can check your trailer lights it's it's pretty cool and it even gives you specific MPGs for when you're trailering. Nice little storage slot next to everything. You've got the same GM cup holders with these little rubber inserts that can wear out and don't accommodate real big drinks very well, but small complaint. This little storage slot is nice, but again, no wireless charging right there. This center armrest is wide and comfortable. You also have a little knickknack storage on each side, but we can pop this thing up out of the way. And a little complaint with this too is you have this big tray that you can put stuff in, which is nice. But if you wanna get underneath of that tray, you have to take this whole tray out. So just don't keep things in here that you need to get to very often. You've got a couple USB ports right there. And on that side, you've got another three prong outlet. Over here, storage is good. Push that button, boom. You've got an extra hidden storage area, a locking glove box as well. And overhead, you get GM's camera mirror. So you can have it be a regular mirror or a camera, which is great for visibility. Overhead, LED lighting in here. And honestly, the LED lighting at night is pretty terrible. It's actually really small lights, really small cast pattern. It can be nice, but it doesn't light up things very well. You got garage controls in here. Plus, you can open up the rear window, which I'll show you. And we've got this moonroof right here. So you can open up this. You've got the power sliding rear and your visors can slide out. And part of this AT4X that we have in here is this really soft micro suede material all over everything for the headliner, even the visor. Now into the hood, this AT4X actually only gets one option, unlike the regular AT4, which gives you the option of a diesel or a V8. 
but under the hood of this one you get GM's direct injected 6.2 liter V8. It's got 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque paired with their 10-speed automatic. Now I don't want to be negative but I don't love the fact that it's only direct injected and it comes with their dynamic fuel management system which is the variable cylinder activation that shuts it down in multiple different ways more advanced than their active fuel management so you've got a couple complicated things there I'm not a huge fan of. Aside from that this engine is powerful and it sounds fantastic and in case you didn't hear it you get a front locker with your rear locker four-wheel drive standard on this AT4X. And with this off-road variant, max towing isn't gonna be as much. With this particular model, it's 8,900 pounds. If you're curious, miles per gallon kinda of stinks. It's 15 miles per gallon combined. All right, y'all, we are behind the wheel of this Sierra now, and I drove the Denali before, which actually has that uh, special suspension. Now, this one's got the off-road suspension, so there's certainly a difference here. And my first impression is that you know, you feel like you have a better ride height, which you do, because you got a two inch suspension lift here and it feels a little bit on the stiff side. You know, the off-road suspension is gonna change things a little bit. Now, I don't have anywhere I can go off-roading legally nearby, but this, having the lockers, having the off-road suspension, a suspension lift, you've got pretty good wheel travel. This should be pretty darn capable. Now, this is not quite the same level of the trx and the raptor with everything that goes into building those but this is pretty darn close and it's still a great blend of everyday driving and comfort and ability at the same time now one thing i really appreciate on a day-to-day -day city driving aspect is the way that these gm trucks handle i think the steering on these is more in tune than especially ram and Ford, I think that they just got that locked in a little bit better. The ride comfort nowadays, other trucks, except Nissan, are starting to put in more comfortable suspensions or independent suspensions, and I'd say that those have better ride comfort than what this Sierra does. But if you're used to, you know, the Sierras of the past, then this is gonna be totally fine for you too. Now, this 10-speed has been spot on darn quick and responsive for the most part however there have been some big clunks that i've had just with slowing down not not accelerating shifting just the slowdown that a lot of these newer newer transmissions give you just these clunky patterns but it's quick it's responsive it finds the right gear when it needs to most of the time and this 6.2 liter not only sounds good but it also has uh, good punch and torque one thing I wasn't expecting with the AT4X is the head-up display, but that's also something that's nice to have. And I think this truck looks good too. So let's get a little pedal down here, listen to this V8. It's not as loud and quite as boisterous as some V8s that we've heard recently, but it still has good pickup and it's got that V8 sound and you've got the torque that comes with it. So if you're used to, you know, like a 3.5 liter twin turbo kind of thing, like Ford or Toyota nowadays, those things are super torquey. This still has good torque, but it comes out at a different time, different pattern. It's more of a buildup of power and torque, but this still has good towing capability, even though with this off-road model, the towing's not as good as what you'll find in the, in the regular Sierra. But day-to-day -day driving, everything is good. It handles itself well. The ride comfort is good enough for a full-size truck, which is what a lot of people drive is just day-to-day, -day, everyday driving these full-size crew cabs nowadays. But it can do the job. It can be comfortable. It can be luxurious. It can be off-road capable. You can tow with it, get dirty with it. And it's got some nice features like that multi-pro tailgate to make things even a little more practical. And another thing I gotta say about this particular Sierra is this did very well on my decibel ratings. Very quiet on a rough surface, very quiet at high speed interstates. So it did excellent with that. So to wrap things up on this AT4X, I love that GMC gave us another variant of the AT4. This X model's a little bit more over the top. I mean, you even get a front locker here for this front 
differential. And it still has a nice plush interior. It's comfortable, it's got a lot of features. It's pretty luxurious if you look at it, and it is priced like that too, over $80,000. But you get a lot with its off-road capability, the nice interior, a lot of power under the hood here. I'd love to know what you think down below, so please leave your comments down there. A thumbs up would be super helpful, and have a great day.